full hundred percent capacity. How about that? I'm impressed by what you pulled off with it. And I think first as a writer, uh, I find it really impressive. The way you've balanced the characters, you introduce Clint uh, in this movie and kind of almost entirely have to do the lifting there to set him up. And you do it with him as somebody else, kind of. Mm -hmm. That's a tough way to back into a character. It is. Um, it was the hardest part was was writing it so that they would all be in there. And, and, and Clint Barton was, you know, the most difficult character to give to the audience for, you know, because, you know, he's not feeling himself particularly for part of it. And, um, but, you know, when you have these actors, you can't, you can't not give them their moment. And it feels like that's, that's something you've done really well is you've merged these worlds because they have such different tones in each of the setup films. Captain America doesn't feel anything like Iron Man. Yet in this movie, it feels like they are finally occupying the same world and it makes sense. It made more sense than we expected. Um, oddly enough, you know, Chris Hemsworth can just walk around in a cape and you buy it because he's Chris Hemsworth, mm -hmm. he's not human. But part of going in was knowing there was a level in which it would never make sense and, and having the, the humor and the sense that these all guys, all of these guys have sort of, well, this is a little absurd, um, I think helps you, the audience, get, get, you know, agree with them basically. It's one of the funniest movies I think I'm going to see this year. It's flat out hilarious and yet the stakes matter. And that seems like a bit of a magic trick to, to actually keep the audience laughing and engaged, but yet it's a threat. There's a real threat here. Well, I appreciate that it's, you know, you're walking a fine line, but uh, in terms of the humor, we never had a moment where we thought, oh, this is too much, or, you know, or gosh, we need to throw a joke in here. It was always just, it just came from the characters. You know, they just, they, you know, there's no way people who live such strange lives aren't going to have moments of humor, and there's no way Tony Stark is gonna let a moment go by without, you know, cracking wise. So it, it just felt very organic for them to, uh, to amuse us. I'm very impressed by the way you've handled the Hulk, and I think he's gonna be the breakout star of this movie. I think people are gonna suddenly remember why they love that character. Well, you know, uh, Mark and I uh, talked a lot about Bill Bixby and, and the show and, and why that worked for people so well. That's the thing we wanted to evoke, was that sort of that guy who, no matter how bad his problems were, uh, that was not his focus. His focus was, how can I help people? You know, how can I be a man? How can I actually do do something useful with my life, despite the fact that occasionally... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, thank you very much for pulling it off the way you did and for sitting down with us today. Thank you so much.